Good evening uh, to everyone present here uh, in Zoom, Facebook Live and YouTube Live. This is Rudranarayan Das, taking this privilege to warmly uh, welcome you all to World Human Sciences and Management Conference 2022. Invitations to Global Dialogue on Agnotological Context, Disciplinary Practices of Social Sciences and Policy Frames, an initiative towards Think Time and Rethink Episteme. Distinguished participants, partakers, uh, it's a glorious moment to extend my warm wishes on behalf of Center for Adivasi Research and Development. Uh, as this international conference is built uh, with the intent of active and interactive learning and discussion organized by Center for Adivasi Research and Development in collaboration with Indian Institute of Management, Sambalpur, Central University of Odisha, and Ravensa University, Qatar. On behalf of Center for Adivasi Research and Development, I want to convey my heartfelt gratitude to our patrons, Professor Dr. Sanjay Kumar Nayak, Vice Chancellor, Ravensa University, Professor Mahadev Joyswal, Director, Indian Institute of Management, and Professor Sarat Kumar Palita, Vice Chancellor, Central University of Odisha. The convener of this largest virtual conference are eminent Indian historian, Professor Chandi Prasad Nanda, and eminent policy activist, writer, and philanthropist, Mr. Charudat Panigrai. Ladies and gentlemen, the main outcome of this conference is to come up with a come up with national and international framework for the education system in future. And the crux of this conference will be the use of digital technologies such as artificial intelligence, argumented reality, and virtual reality that is being increasingly adopted after the outbreak of COVID pandemic. We hope this conference would help students, faculties, researchers, and all to expand their mental horizon and help the education system to adopt the best. Dear friends, Center for Adivasi Research and Development is a leading research-oriented institution promoting ethnographic, empirical, and evidence-based research for engaging and addressing the challenges that 21st century globe is facing today. The prime agenda of this institution is to come up with potential policy solutions for social change while believing in the idea of 3D that uh, uh, stands for debate, dialogue, and discussion, and expertise, experiencing, and education stand for easy. Uh, the institution focuses on marginalized communities and works for their livelihood to protect their nature, culture, language, and identity in particular. Dear friends, the age of modernity is witness that Change is the only constant phenomena for societal purpose to enhance knowledge. Our information work for them is methodical and avoid. Paradoxically, frameworks which is neglected so many centuries from theory to become practice. The center sincerely believes in the concept of social marketing, which is seriously looking for non-profit marketing and builds new social entrepreneurship for check and balance mechanism to glorify generations to come. Center for Adivasi Research and Development come to serve with the holistic approach of critical thinking in education to fill the gap and to plan accordingly for the voiceless communities. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it gives me tremendous contentment to introduce the most esteemed personality of today's symposia is none other than Dr. Antarjita Nayak. Dr. Nayak is the founder and director of Avivyakti Research and Development uh, and a ICSSR fellow. Dr. Nayak's primary research areas include poverty and development, wherein, my, wherein uh, her goal uh, is to understand uh, the individual form of holistic perspective through theoretical and field-based investigation. Uh, as the founder and uh, director of Avivyakti Research and Development Foundation, uh, Dr. Nayak committed to solve the uh, disadvantages uh, groups, tribal women uh, and children for their overall development. Uh, Dr. Nayak's strength include uh, psycho-socioeconomic and cultural assessments of the individuals to address concerns of health, education, children, women and environment. Uh, so the topic of today's uh, discussion is learning difficulties and the tribal children of Odisha. Uh, the topic will definitely be an eye-opening uh, se uh, session for all of us. Uh, so with, the, uh, with this note, uh, I'd like to stop here and uh, invite Dr. Nayak to initiate her talk. Over to you, ma'am. Hello, everyone. 
am i audible yes ma'am please uh, a, a very good evening to everyone uh, ethare upasthit samastanku mor um, sadar pranam i am dr antarjita naik uh, founder director abhivyakti research and development foundation ardf abhivyakti means expression and ardf uh, is a platform uh, to express where we believe uh, that expression is a key to empowerment uh, women children health education and environment are the five pillars of uh, ardf where we uh, search research and then work it has been a nice experience working at uh, the ground level uh, for the needy and for the people who genuinely need us uh, at this part of time uh, i would really like to thank uh, card for giving me uh, for giving me the opportunity to express myself and also providing a great platform to connect with each other and to share our ideas to do something good for the society uh, i can do something you can do something but when i and you combine together then we can do many things and i hope that we can do everything for a good uh, future for a better future and for sustainable growth and development and uh, it is a uh, it is my really i am honored to deliver uh, today's presentation uh, on the topic uh, uh based on the learning difficulties that are being faced by the tribal children of odisha especially this is not uh, especially uh, the study is focused on odisha but i think that we can correlate the difficulties of every tribal children in and around india or around across the globe also so starting with uh, i would like to share uh, the screen okay uh, so today's uh, topic is learning difficulties and the tribal children of odisha so before we uh, uh, start our discussion on uh, the topic i would really like to share a uh, not a poem but few lines that suddenly came to my mind when i was on the ground working uh, on a, a dropout uh, working on dropout uh, based on the primary children a tribal children so when i was into the field uh, i saw uh, some children uh, playing in the mud and uh, and the and uh, the most interesting part was that they were in uh, school uniform so when i asked them that uh, whether they are uh, into school or they are from the school going back to the home then they say that no we are not going to school we are spending our time in the farmlands planting the rice saplings and playing in the mud so suddenly then uh, at the spot only few lines came to my mind seeing the children that i would like to share with everyone present here no wifi no television no gadgets clay mud and water they are all time playmates and i say with wings to fly high but they are simple vulnerable and they are expressive they need attention but no exploitation they need education but no isolation rejection and humiliation innocent eyes clear heart nature's lamp and god to save starvation malnourishment illiteracy poor health and poverty is all what they have these are the lines that came to my mind after i uh, watched them enjoying with the uh enjoying with their uh, only playmates clay mud and water so coming uh, to our topic now uh actually what is seen is that very often uh, we make uh, uh, allegations that uh, these tribal children uh, are uh, not coming to school these allegations are very specific every time we go to any school or any tribal village or we consult any teacher of a tribal school or the parents itself or the policy makers or the government also then the uh, then a common allegation that everyone make against these tribal children are they don't come to school regularly 
they don't understand the things taught in the classroom they don't have interest in studies they even drop out from the school uh, which is very frequently seen and they also don't value education they don't remember the lessons or concepts that are being taught to them inside the classroom so here i would like to uh, put a question like uh, uh, what is their mistake is there any mistake of these children why why we are uh, making such an allegation every time uh, against these children are these allegations true and what is the problem have we ever uh, searched for the solution against this so uh, the allegations that now i have described may seem to be very small and very common but what happens these small things are becoming a great a uh, threat to everyone in future times to come which we are ignoring every time there is a very good uh, saying that maturity is not when we start speaking big things it is when we start understanding small things so when we talk about this tribal children their education their difficulties it may sound a small thing that yes they are not coming to school they are not learning whatever is being taught they are not understanding so it is their mistake it is very easy to say on my part on your part and on everybody's part to say this but genuinely if we look into the matter and we if we study at the ground level and come in contact with them uh, uh, discussing their problems then we could certainly find that these small problems are certainly not a small problem which is going to be a big threat in the future time to come and it may also settle the sustainable development and growth of the country and the world as well so it's time to uh, focus on these small problems before they become more chronic to uh, to the development of the society and the country as well so uh, before starting now i would like to <clears throat> uh, tell a short story about two friends after telling the story uh, everyone present here could uh, somehow gather some information that what i am uh, what i am uh, indicating to tell in this story there were two friends one name is radhu and other other name is madhav they went to the market for shopping they found that uh, uh, they 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 bought some vegetables and more lucrative was the more lucrative was the pumpkin so they bought a pumpkin with them and uh, both of them uh, after eating the pumpkin they discussed that yes the pumpkin was very nice and so they decided to plant one seed in their courtyard for 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 many uh, pumpkins to grow in their courtyard so they planted the pumpkin seeds in their courtyard radhu what radhu did radhu planted the seed in the courtyard under a tree and always uh, gave the plant some water and took care of him and took care of the plant but along with that but side by side what madhav did madhav planted the seed uh, in a open space where the seed could uh, get ample amount of uh, sunlight then he gave manure to it then uh, organic things he put some organic things uh, things to the seed so that the plant could grow generously after few days madhav and the radhu met again and madhav say and radhu said that madhav uh, do you know that my pumpkin tree only fetch me a single uh, pumpkin but madhav told that radhu do you know i fetch so many pumpkins in my courtyard now i would tell that the difference between two madhav and the radhu was that the care they took of their saplings because the seed was the same the pumpkin was the same the village was the same the atmosphere was the same and everything was same but the difference was that radhu only fetched a single pumpkin whereas madhav fetched a huge amount of pump pumpkins the thing uh, the reason behind uh, sharing this uh, uh, story is that what is that na nourish early to flourish later the difference between two friends is that one took care of the one took care by simply watering the plant and other took 
care of the sapling as his own child so what is happening in the tribal belt and what is generally happening among the tribal children is that they are not being taken care from early stage like from the fetus stage so the first thing that uh, is the main hurdle is the pregnancy nutrition generally what is happening in the tribal belt is that uh, tribal women are actually not aware of their pregnancy nutrition they simply think that pregnancy is a condition that th this will be over within 9 months and they need not uh, they and they are not uh, at all serious about themselves and uh, they are also not serious uh, about uh, their health and the phase during which they are passing through this time so what is happening now this tribal due to the lack of this pregnancy nutrition knowledge among the tribal uh, tribal women they are not taking care of the fetus from the early stage then genuinely what is happening now the child which is in the mother's womb is not getting enough uh, food and enough care and enough fertile ground to grow at the fetal stage then gradually what is happening the child is coming out of the womb and coming to the world with a great joy then also the struggle still continues with the mother and the child as well there is a uh, there is in, in uh, generally what is happening uh, these tribal women are being advised to feed their uh, children uh, breast feeding is a compulsory for 6 months that we all know in general that uh, breast feeding should be done for 6 months at least but what is the quality and the quantity of breast milk that should be for these tribal people for these tribal children is not being focused anywhere these these things are not being taken care by the uh, mother nor these things are being told to the mother elaborately and uh, particularly uh, to this uh, tribal woman so what is happening now everybody knows that for the development of brain and body of an infant mother's milk for the first 6 months is a must but these uh, tribal uh, women what they are doing now when lactating uh, these lactating mothers take no proper diet and no proper rest soon after the delivery they they jump into their household chores they do strenuous work like uh, going for water um, like going to fetch for water miles and miles uh, from their home then doing strenuous work also and along with that and along with that what they are doing now they do they are taking stale chapati basi roti what we say in odia and what they say and water rice and onion pakhala bhat au piyaj in their language these are the things that they think that can produce enough milk for a mother who is lactating so what is happening now gradually after 1 to 3 months of uh, uh, post pregnancy these mother are not lactating uh, quality wise and as well as quantity wise so what is happening the no nutrients uh, is uh, there in the breast milk that hampers the quality due to the um, as they are not taking enough uh, nutrients in their uh, food and gradually and also no proper and adequate food they are also not taking sufficient food every from their morning starts with a uh, with uh, water rice uh, and uh, onion and then gradually in the afternoon also in the in the lunch they also take uh, rice and one um, vegetable fry or again or if possible then again the water rice and onion these affects the breast milk so this milk which is being taken by the infant or the child at the early stage is also affecting their nutrition and nourishment this affecting this uh, lack of nutrition and nourishment in the latter stage is causing low retention retarded physical and mental growth and ultimately resulting to the learning disabilities so what is happening now we are finding that these children these tribal children are having some learning disabilities that they are not able to concentrate that they are not able to remember the things they are not able to concentrate so this is not a matter which has been caused at the spot or this has been caused for uh, that, that this is a problem of a single day this has been a cause for for a child from its mother's womb only 
which we are not taking care of or which we are sometimes failing to make aware these tribal women about their pregnancy nutrition so gradually what is happening then again the child is growing to uh, child is passing through the ages when the child stops taking uh, his mother's milk and is going for outside food then uh, what is happening uh, the child is being given with uh, general things that we are that they are also taking like that stale chapati then uh, nowadays nowadays these tribal people these tribal uh, population are also affected by the modernization where they are also going for tin food uh leaving behind their organic and primitive foods earlier what was happening now these tribal people were going for a uh, chuda that is uh, flattened rice what we say uh, so that that is also very much uh, nutritious for a growing child and uh, side by side uh, they should go for uh, uh, vegetables of all kinds to provide a child ample quantity of omega 3 fatty acid iodine protein vitamin and minerals because we all know that iodine plays an important role in the early stage where that when the child starts growing so uh, these days what uh, our government is also providing iodine capsules to uh, children uh, reading in uh, children going for schools but in, instead of giving iodine capsules if this iodine is taken in the food and if these iodine and other nutrients are covered up uh, with their food then it would be more beneficial for the child as well as for its growth and for its nourishment but <clears throat> what is happening uh, during uh, during our course of field work we have also observed that these children these uh, growing stage in the growing stage also these uh, tribal children are only going for rice and one vegetable fry and also without dal that what we call in uh, what they call in uh, um, their language uh, bhaji and bhat bhaji means a one vegetable fry and rice that is also without dal that is dry rice and vegetable fry so these uh, by taking such kind of things these uh, children Hello. Hello. Audible, audible. Hello. Am I audible? Audible, audible. Yeah. Um. Uh, sorry for the disruption. Ah, oh, please, please, ma'am, continue. Uh, so what is happening now? Uh, instead of going for their uh, a primitive source of energy, uh, what is happening? Then they are also running after these. These tribal children are also running after uh, these uh, chips, uh, these uh, packet foods, and all. But they are forgetting that they are forgetting about the millet, which they call in their language mandia. But mandia. that is the powerhouse of that is actually the powerhouse which they are forgetting so if this millet is uh, reintroduced into their uh, uh, diet then it could be more helpful these days also we are uh, going for our millet mission but uh, what is happening uh, what is found from the observation is that 
uh, that uh, these tribal children and uh, as well as their family members and the mothers are also not uh, easily accepting uh, this uh, easily accepting this uh, millet or the chuda to be taken by the uh, children they are going for uh, these packet foods because they think that these packet foods are more lucrative and more energetic than those primitive and organic sources so here there is also uh, some lack in their in their nutrient intake so what is happening now gradually starting from the uh, uh, fetal stage to their uh, developmental uh, stage or during their growth period what is happening now the child is being faced with several nutritional problems which is gradually uh, so gradually which is um, contributing uh, towards several learning disabilities like their problem in studying difficulties in learning then attention deficit they are sometimes becoming anemic then difficulties in uh, learning new things low concentration poor immune system and sometimes also death due to undernourishment so in uh, so if we are telling that if a child is not able to study if a child is not able to concentrate then it's not the mistake of the child or it's not the it, it's not uh, the problem of the child created by himself but it is the cause that we are causing uh, for the child uh, from uh, starting from the pregnancy itself so this is one of the problems that uh, that which seems uh, that that is a hidden problem that uh, which is not visible in the early stage but when it is visible it's it's too late to be worked upon so it it, it would be better if we start early working on it um, working on it then uh, we could certainly achieve uh, something uh, by which we could uh, make the learning ability by which we can enhance the learning abilities of uh, these tribal children as well as Uh, we could reduce the dropout at a uh, genuine uh, at a generous level then what is happening uh, there is a, a general tendency among uh, these uh, among this is also a general tendency among our, uh, us also and it is also a general tendency among the tribal uh, family that uh, we all think that girls are burden but generally but genuinely what is happening now the girls are not burden they are the assets if we are not working upon the girls if we are not focusing on their nutrition and nourishment health or education then we are going to dig a pit for ourselves to fall in the future so uh, for achieving sustainable development uh, goals uh, it, it it is it is better to involve the girls and these sustainable goals can be better geared up if the girls come into power so what is happening now uh, actually in these tribal areas when after uh, if 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 the family or if the couple is having a girl child uh, first girl child then they are always seeking for a male child or a boy so then they keep on uh, giving birth the mother keeps on giving birth until and uh, until she has a boy so after having a boy after two two or three girls what is happening now these girls are being neglected in the early stage they are not given they are not given with proper food they are not given with proper nutrition they are not taken care of by the family they are not taken care of by the society as well so what is happening now then also a um, uh, what we are doing we are creating a vicious circle of uh, learning disabilities and also a vicious circle <coughs> of uh, creating problems for ourselves because if a girl is not being nurtured from early stage when the girl grows and gets married and they have is having a, a child then also the problem circles around in and around the girl so it's better to start so it's better to give importance to a girl uh, if we really want to avoid all the upcoming uh, hurdles uh, regarding the uh, nutrition health or education for the uh, generations to come so here i would like to suggest that uh, in the among the tribal uh, uh, population or in the tribal belt this message should be given that the girls are not burden and they are the assets and they should be taken proper care if they do not want to face any problem in the future so next come this was about the nutritional problems 
and uh, this was about the nutritional problems and the barriers uh, that the nutrition and malnourishment plays uh, for the learning disabilities then then comes uh, the second uh, thing that the distance of the school and way to school versus school education and learning very often we say that uh, children are not coming to school during the rainy season they are stopping and they are not coming to school they are not regular at school but my question is that how the how these small kids will come to school when they have to cross a dangerous path coming to school because sometimes what happens now um, the distance from uh, the distance uh, from school uh, to uh, the the distance from the home to the school is not a bed of roses so what is happening now they have to cover a wild path which is uh, which is threatening uh, their health and it which is a great uh, which is providing I mean, which is a great threat to their health uh, insecurity and they are also losing uh, uh, they are also losing <clears throat> their motivation and interest to as in the slide zone uh, we can observe that how difficult it is for the children to pass through these difficult paths to come to the school so it is a, from this picture we could uh, have a good idea that uh, why these children are not coming to school regularly why they are stopping uh, their education in the mid because it is not a because it is not a um, matter of uh, interest and it is not a matter of uh, Mm, good experience so uh, this is also one of the major reasons why these children are not coming to the school regularly and also in a summer season which uh, we could see that these children have to uh, walk for miles like 5 to 2, two to 5 kilometers away from their home to their school so in the scorching sun it it is becoming very difficult on their part to come to the school for which they are stopping to come stop they for which they stop to come their school regularly this is also one of the hindrances because if they stop today and if they stop tomorrow coming to school then gradually what happens now this uh, becomes an habit uh, for them to stop their school and stop their education because nobody in their home and nobody in their society or locality can uh, motivate them to come and join the school and nobody is there to uh, teach them the value of education because teaching and having the education now is uh, just like planting a tree if we plant a tree today then tomorrow it will it, it will not fetch a fruit but after many years but after but in future these trees these grown up trees can fetch good quantity of uh, fruits leaves seed wood and all but this knowledge is not being imparted to the uh, families in, uh, in the tribal belt to the uh, to the parents uh, of the, these tribal children for which the, this this uh, stopping uh, for this for what happens now if they stop today coming to school at, but if they stop uh, being educated today it becomes a habit which they continue Uh, and uh, they drop out from the school and get engaged in other works so this again there is a gender bias uh, where uh, these learning difficulties is also uh, being hampered like uh, gender gender inequality what what is majorly seen that uh, these uh, boys versus girls in um, uh, not only in the tribal belt but also in the uh, cities in uh, in urban areas also when we go to any school or uh, uh, when we see uh, some um, um, when we go to school and uh, observe the classes then we could uh, see that um, there is a good uh, population of uh, boys studying in a class uh, but uh, girls are um, the strength of girls is quite low this is also generally what is happening in the tribal belts uh, actually what is happening now that these tribal girls uh, are engaged in more household chores than studies schools and educations the girl child if she is elder to other siblings then she is forced to be in home and take care of 
of her siblings so that their siblings grow healthy because in tribal uh, in in every tribal household the mother and and the father are bound to go uh, for work because if they stop going outside and if they stop working then it would be hard on their part to fetch a meal for their children so in this case what is happening now the girl child uh, the girls are forced to remain at home and to be engaged in other household chores like cooking uh, fetching water cleaning and helping their mothers in uh, miscellaneous works for which they stop going to school so in this case we have to focus more on the gender inequality part rather focusing uh, on uh, some general uh, points we should focus on some specific points like why these children are not coming to school and what is their problem in learning new things and memory and keeping uh, in mind the things that are being taught in the classroom and and other things related to the education another problem <coughs> is that uh, let us that what we generally talk that everybody should go to school everybody should read everybody should learn how to write and everybody should be educated but this is a different scenario if we compare between the tribal children and the non tribal children if we compare between the poor child and the non poor child because i think uh, that uh, feeding uh, to a stomach is much more important than feeding a brain so what there is always a controversy between food for brain and food for stomach because uh, if you if we feed to our stomach then only our brain will function and if we stop feeding our stomach our brain will also stop functioning so at this point of time there becomes a great dilemma for the tribal families tribal parents as well as for the tribal children to make a quick uh, choice between working uh, and educating themselves so they they don't prioritize their school their education when they look for work to feed because when they are uh when they are uh, going for school uh, no doubt our government uh, is providing mid day meal they will be given uh, food which we are working to uh, reduce the malnourishment among the children among the tribal children so that they could eat well and grow well but if they are going to school studying then they are getting one meal per head but if they are not going to school and working outside then they are getting a, at least twice uh, two meals at least they are getting two meals for their family so in this situation what they are doing now they are forced to drop their school they are forced to drop their education they are forced to drop uh, forced to drop learning new things they are forced to leave their education in the middle and go for working and fetching some food for the family so when we are talking about child labor when we are talking about to stop child labor then also we have to correlate these things with other things like why the child is being forced to work why the child is not uh, being forced to, to go for studies and why the child is losing interest in studies so in this situation we have to analyze the things properly because uh, in india and basically among the tribal people basically among the tribal this uh, poverty uh, plays an important uh, role uh, i may say that this is a, this is an hindrance that is uh, acting on these uh, tribal children so at this at this situation this uh, uh, food for brain and food for stomach is also playing a great role which we have, we have to take care if we are really uh putting if you are really uh, if we really want to do something uh, for these uh, tribal children then comes uh, among the uh, basically among the girls what is uh, what is being observed that uh, periods menstrual menstruation is a major uh, hurdles in their education 
because uh, generally what is happening now in tribal areas uh, menstruation is not a is not simply a biological phenomenon but it is controlled by various social stigmas and social restrictions this uh, this is uh, uh, like uh, um, this is um, guided by several myths and taboos like when the girl starts her first menstruation then after that she is she either stops herself from going to school or the society or their tribal uh, tribal culture or even their parents force the girl not to go to school because it is a social taboo that when the girls uh, menstru start menstruating then they should be inside the home it is also observed from my experience what i would like to share is that there is a uh, there is a stigma or i i may say there is a um, this is a myth guided by myth or a taboo that it is generally found that uh, what these tribal parents think that when the girl is menstruating or when the girl is having her periods she should not be uh, going alone outside or outside the home because she may be Uh, prone to some uh, black magic or maybe guided by some witchcraft which they think so they stop their girls from going to school during their periods so uh, this periods is not a matter of a single day or a single month or a single year this is a general phenomena that will come in every month at least for 8 days in a girl's life so gradually what is happening now every month when a girl is not going to school for 8 to 10 days it may be either due to their myths their taboos their stigmas or any social restrictions or physical constraints uh, if they are stopping it for 8 days then it is becoming a habit uh, for the girl not to go to school regularly and in also the schools in the tribal belts there is also not proper toilet facilities where uh, these girls could uh, have a proper uh, sanitation uh, san proper sanitation during their uh, classes and also side by side in these tribal schools one thing is found that the number of uh, lady lady teachers women women teachers are very low it's equal to zero where these girls feel uh, shy to have or shy to share their difficulties to the male teachers in their in their schools so uh, so they face problem uh, while going to school and they also face problem while not going to schools so uh, they what they do they stop going to schools so in this situation this periods is also playing an hindrance in the path of learning several things learning new things in the tribal areas so in this case if we would work on creating awareness uh, for uh, creating awareness based on this menstruation and menstrual health and hygiene then we could of course gain something and we could save our girls from stopping their education then comes uh, the tribal language even though the tribal children in odisha speak odia understand odia but it is hard for them to study in odia and understand the concepts described in odia as a result uh, there is a failure of link between teaching and learning because uh, teaching is always not that the teacher will say and uh, the students will listen it is a interaction that should happen inside the class so in this what is happening now the language is playing a great barrier what the learning process among the tribal children uh, let me give an example like <clears throat> water cycle if the children if the students inside the class are being taught about water cycle what is the what generally uh, what generally the uh, teacher uh, does is that he or she explains the water cycle in a very uh, clear way that the sun shines it uh, evaporates the water from the water bodies on the earth or on the ground then it forms clouds and when the clouds mix with the other particles it becomes heavy heavy and then it comes to the ground in form of rain so this is how the teacher makes the student understand but what the teacher 
teachers in the classroom what the children understands from the teaching that is being taught by the teacher in the classroom and what is given in the book is completely different they could not correlate the words described by the teacher and the words given in their book and also in their common language in their tribal language so there is a uh, failure in the link because uh, let me give an example like hydrologic cycle is also known as water cycle what is happening the teacher will teach uh, that this is called water cycle but when the student will go to the house and will see that in the book it is written hydrologic cycle he will not correlate that water cycle is also called the hydrologic cycle this is what happening among the tribal schools among in the tribal classes that there is a failure of link what is being taught and what is being understood by the children so the, uh, this language also plays a major barrier in the learning difficulties among the tribal children so these are the learning difficulties that are being faced by the tribal children of odisha what we have discussed we can summarize it like that lack of nutrition and nourishment from the pregnancy till adolescence then nutrition deficit problems like attention deficit writing disabilities low memory retention is the major problem that is being faced by the children then comes the distance of the school is too vast and full of natural hurdles like river forest and uneven paths to cover and uh, for which these tiny toads are not able to go to the school regularly then comes the periods and menstruation which is a social and economic and as well as a cultural problem for the tribal girls their health and hygiene issues are also at stake due to uh, lack of facilities in the school and due to due to the taboos and myths guided by the um, tribal communities then going to school and studying and having a mid day meal is not enough if they do not go to school and uh, work to earn then they can support their family which is more lucrative than education because the quality of education being imparted to the tribal children which i think needs to be upgraded and there should be a link and and there should be a gener generation of interest among the tribal children so that they could be aware of being educated and they could create an interest by own to being educated and to learn new things then food for brain and food for stomach as i have already told that food for brain is less lucrative than food for stomach so this is what they are uh, losing interest they are not going to school there are several learning uh, there are several hurdles to the learning process then then what is happening that these tribal children are diverting their path uh, going towards the education towards the child labor where they are engaged in several uh, other uh, several uh, works which would also, which are also threatening their lives then language of teaching of course is a basic uh, problem in the uh, tribal areas where non tribal languages are playing a major hurdle in their process of understanding learning and creating interest to study then comes the economic barriers to quality of teaching uh, which needs to be focused because <clears throat> uh, what is happening now the parents are the parents of in of the tribal children are also not able to understand what are the benefits of being educated what is the benefit that they could send their children to the school so in this sense they think that earning money uh if possible like working on the farms or um, or working in some hot hotels or restaurants is uh, more lucrative which could fetch them money as well as food uh as well as food is more lucrative so in this uh, uh, economic barrier is also playing a major hindrance in their learning abilities so if you if we would uh, segregate if we if we would uh, categorize all these things then the learning difficulties among the tribal in odisha could be categorized into four uh, major parts like immediate causes underlying causes and basic causes and exclusive causes for tribal that this tribal face in general and in also in specific like immediate causes 
which i have already discussed like inadequate diet and diseases that uh, that should be uh, carried from the pregnancy level uh, from when the when when a tribal couple is trying to conceive or having uh, is trying to have a, a child then they should start working from that time uh, indeed to have a better future for them as well as for their children then there are some underlying causes like household food insecurity poverty then poor access to health these are the underlying causes which we very often ignore like uh, if there is no food in the house to feed a child then how how can a child come to school and uh, concentrate on the studies uh, no doubt the mid day meal is being provided the but the mid day meal is provided only in the lunch what about the breakfast and what about the dinner so these are the underlying causes which we need to focus then there are some basic causes like uh, social causes political causes cultural and economic environment also plays a role and also psychological clinical medical and biological concerns are also there which needs to be focused if we are really concerned about the learning disabilities among the children then exclusive causes for tribal what is happening there is too much of discrimination their geographical isolation their geographical location then limited access to public services cultural differences all these are very much exclusive for the tribal what is happening uh, no doubt our government is having several uh, several uh, policies and other schemes and plans for the benefits of these tribals so, but what is happening very often uh it is observed that these these tribal are not uh these tribals are not aware of these uh, they of their uh, of these plans and policies which can act in favor of them so it is a, a prior need to make them aware that these are the plans and policies which they follow and if they uh, take it uh, as a as which which they can take it seriously then they could be benefited out of this so <clears throat> so now uh, problems are many so i have raised some of the problems that is uh, being observed that i have observed while working in the ground levels that needs to be focused so what is the solution uh, solution uh, in general like uh, some of the suggestions that i could uh, like to put on this platform like uh, first is that counseling of the tribal parents before we focus that these children tribal children are not coming to school they are not studying it it is the prior duty of everyone it should be the prior duty of everyone who genuinely needs to work for these tribal children that they should start from the tribal parents because counseling of the tribal parents is the utmost need of the hour because uh, if the parents are being educated about the values of education about the values of learning new things then there could uh, be certain uh, changes uh, among, among the tribal <clears throat> uh, there could be certain changes uh, uh, in the tribal education and educating the tribal children then there should be swift communication facilities uh, uh from uh, home to school and from school to home because uh, when we are forcing the small children to go to school regularly we are ignoring the underlying circumstances or the environment uh, which are playing a great hindrance in their going to school and coming from school back to home so these things should this this point also needs some attention that either the school either the children should come to school in a very swift manner or the school should go to the school like we can enhance community teaching uh, we can enhance uh, like the teaching in a group if the children are not able to come to the school on a regular basis if they are guided by the environment if they are guided by a very um, miserable pathway to come into the school so focus on health and nutrition is also a very uh genuine and a primary uh, reason that we should work on because health is wealth and nutrition plays a major role in education in learning in concentration in retention in in accommodation of everything so uh, it doesn't mean that when the children will come to school they will be provided with nutrition facilities so nutrition as a process should start from 
very beginning when it should start from pregnancy itself it should start from uh, from uh, from a uh, from a girl uh, which is taking birth today only we should take care of it, of that girl if we are taking care of the, that girl today then we could then she could uh, be more fruitful uh, and more helpful for the society in the future times to come then introduction of tribal language uh, teaching Gen uh, gradually uh, this this is being incorporated in our tribal teaching but this should be focused on large basis that if at all the tribal uh, language is not being uh, uh, accommodated then uh, then there should be visual uh, audio visual method of teaching should be introduced in the tribal schools where the interest should be created showing pictures showing showing the process telling stories and having a pictorial elaboration and a pictorial elaborative explanations to the children where the children will have a link between the um, teaching method and learning process then <clears throat> better toilet and sanitation facilities for the girls like the girls toilet and sanitation facilities should be for boys too but the, they are uh, sanitation facilities for the boys are totally different for from the girls and and the girls should and the uh, orientation of the girls toilets is also different from the boys they should be there should be a proper sanitation with a proper availability of water a dustbin and also a adequate supply of sanitary pads in the schools also uh, we all know that it is uh, it is uh, well aware that we are all well, uh, well aware that uh, these uh, girls are being supplied with the sanitary pads in the school under which is uh, uh, coming under the khushi uh, project of government of uh, odisha in which these uh, <clears throat> girls are being provided with uh, uh, sanitary pads but uh, during our course of interaction and our course of uh, interacting with the girls regarding their menstruation and uh, regarding these uh, pads what we gathered that these pads the quality of the pads needs to be enhanced because what is happening what is which is genuine that in the early stages of menstruation when uh, when the girl starts her menstruation then the uh, flow of the menstrual blood is quite heavy so this uh, a uh, pad is not uh, able to uh, hold this menstrual flow so what is happening now uh, these girls are losing faith on this menstrual uh, they losing faith on these pads and gradually they are going for their primitive method of primitive method of use like using cloth and other uh, unhygienic ways which is also hampering their health in the times to come so if uh, so we should focus on this also providing a better sanitary pad and providing a better toilet and sanitation facilities to the tribal girls in the interior tribal belt uh, then again comes the social awareness of menstruation menstrual health and hygiene should be given priority because when we start talking about menstruation menstrual health and hygiene it 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 becomes a it becomes a topic of uh, uh, it becomes a topic of shyness that suddenly what will happen when we start talking about this the uh, girls will shook their eyes they will avoid discussing all these things because they think that this menstruation is not a topic for discussion this is not at all an important topic to to be discussed in an open forum because they are being uh, they are being fed that this menstruation is a matter of shy this is a, ma a matter that should be kept within the four walls of their house and should not be discussed openly among all so there should there is an urgent uh, requirement of creating an awareness among the among the um, girls starting from class 6 to class 12 uh, where we could uh, empower them regarding their menstrual health and hygiene then community teaching can is also a uh, suggestion that that i would like to uh, propose because during our uh, during the corona periods also uh, it, uh, we have started uh, a community teaching program where we are teaching uh, the children some of the children who, who are not able to go to school in a regular basis because due to their fluctuation in the timings like the school timings are from 10 to 4 and during that time they are bound to be at home taking care of their uh, siblings and taking care of other things so they are out of school so it, so uh, in order not to lose their interest in teaching and they should be connected with the teaching we should enhance community teaching 
among the tribal belt and quality of teaching also plays an important role because what happens we are generally running after the quantity of the teaching and we are forgetting about the quality of teaching we will teach more but we will not teach a quality teaching what is required we will not teach but we have to complete a course we are, we are we what we are generally doing and just only because of this we are uh, having a failure in the link between the interest in being interest in uh, learning and uh, interest in being educated among the tribal children at this point i would like to uh, give uh, um, share one interesting thing that uh, uh, i am uh, doing these days that in this context let me introduce to you all a tribal girl uh, named uh, rupali her name is of course changed and she is 6 years old uh this is one of my best experiences that i am having these days what uh, happened that i met rupali uh by somehow that uh, her mother is a very uh, hard uh, working lady that uh, she works uh, um, in uh, on a field um, doing some gardening works and uh, she is having two children and two girl child of course and uh, rupali is her uh, elder daughter one day she came to me and expressed that she uh, really want that rupali uh, should uh, get a good quality of education and uh, i am really concerned about her education also but all the points earlier i have discussed could be found with rupali that her mother her father is willing to give her a proper education but what is playing a major role is their economic condition they are being they are tribal that's why there is a specific uh, problems that they are facing uh, and also uh, being a girl child the their society is not accepting that they should that rupali should be allowed to go to school
So, ma'am, ma did you conclude? Uh, uh, hello? Ma'am, please continue. Hello? Actually, there is a network yes, issue, so please, please, please. I really... Please continue, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so I was telling about uh, Rupali, uh, where uh, she is very eager to study, but due to some constraints, she is not able to study. So <clears throat> here I would like to request uh, everyone that if it is possible, then we should uh, start from an individual effort. Recording in progress. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am, please continue. Actually, I'm not able to share uh, the answers now because. Uh, ma'am, time is running out. Please, uh, you have to conclude okay. and uh, uh, there is some question and answer. Okay, okay, thank you. So, so uh, I was talking about Rupali, uh, where we should take uh, initiative uh, at an individual level that we should work for a single tribal child where. We can put some impact on their education because uh, on my part, if I would suggest that uh, education is given free to an individual, then it may bring uh, a major change in the society. And uh, side by side, it also uh, help. It is it can, it will be helpful towards the sustainable development as we well. With this, I would like to end uh, as the time is running out, and also the network is uh, so poor over here. And if any questions, I would like to encourage to put it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nayak, for your wonderful uh, session. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, Dr. B.C. Das uh, for uh, going for a quick comment on Madam's talk. Over to you, Dr. Das. Uh, yeah. uh, I highly appreciate uh, a complete overhauling uh, of learning difficulties among tribal children of Odisha by Madam Naik. Uh, really, uh, by citing the causes, uh, raising the issues uh, like affected health, insecurity, loss of uh, motivation and interest, gender bias, household engagement, child labor, and so on. Madam uh, has focused uh, food for stomach and food for brain. In this context, uh, I would like to uh, share my views, my observations related to food for brain. Really, uh, food for brain uh, is related to a kind of a, uh, um, uh, 
kind of uh, curricular experience or uh, a matter of pedagogy, a challenge, a, a pedagogical challenge, which has been seriously uh, raised by uh, Madam uh, in her talk, uh, that is pedagogical challenge that is related to quality teaching. So uh, pedagogical uh, challenges uh, are involved with the language part of uh, um, food for brain. Uh, I may uh, here uh, uh, bring uh, some issues uh, related to different kinds of uh, uh, different paradigms uh, uh, in uh, tribal learning in Odisha. Uh, I have uh, uh, got opportunity to work uh, uh, in the field of tribal education at my doctoral stage and uh, further uh, uh, research and project stages. Uh, here, uh, Madam, uh, when there was no school, there was no formal uh, school system, uh, there was a prevailing indigenous paradigm. Uh, when uh, some tribes, they had their own uh, learning dormitories like uh, Bhutul of Muria, uh, Morang uh, of Orang tribes, Rangbang of Bhutia tribes, and uh, Dhangrabasa of uh, Bhuya tribes. Uh, particularly, uh, the major tribes in South Odisha, uh, Kondo, uh, Saura, Poroza, they had no such learning dormitories. They used to learn from family inns, festivals, and uh, marketplaces. Uh, in uh, this indigenous paradigm, when there was no school, uh, tribal children used to learn uh, from their uh, family, learn basic human behavior and primary stage of socialization uh, in modern term. Uh, they, uh, they were learning from uh, the family kin's peer groups uh, through the process of assimilation, enculturation, and socialization. When uh, the foreign school system came in, uh, our uh, so-called educationists, they started immersion paradigm. Immersion paradigm indicated uh, penetration of formal school system in tribal environment. Learning through dominant language is found in, uh, as a major constraint. We are imposing Odia on uh, the tribal children. Odia as regional dominant language. It does not care to bridge the cultural and cognitive gap between the home of the tribal children and the formal school system. Then we be believed in transfer uh, paradigm of learning, which recognized tribal language and relevance of tribal culture again. Tribal children initiated their education in mother tongue, then gradually uh, moved towards the medium of dominant language. So this is one paradigm. A move takes place from local culture to regional culture. But uh, during pre-independence period, when Thakur Bapa came uh, uh, came with the, the idea uh, that ashram ashram school paradigm uh, ashram in ashram school paradigm uh, the tribal children remained secluded from their own community often not allowed to go home frequently and, and uh, the teachers discouraged to talk uh, in tribal language in school thus they became culturally uprooted and alienated which is a major limitation uh, during that period uh, then uh, in uh, post-independence period, uh, we, uh, uh, we uh, resorted to integrated paradigm of uh, uh, tribal education. Uh, the aim was to uh, uh, produce uh, uh, and encourage bilingually and biculturally enriched students, making tribal heritage more relevant along with gain of scientific knowledge. So this uh, uh, paradigm uh, posed a pedagogical challenge and we could not provide the uh, uh, quality teachers in tribal areas and uh, uh, those teachers posted in tribal areas, they were not uh, tribal uh, by caste, they were uh, taken from uh, coastal belt and uh, they uh, uh, actually they were alien to tribal culture and uh, tribal uh, language heritage. Uh, so this was a major constant during integrated paradigm when DPP and SSA were operational. Now Samagra Sikhya Abhijan uh, is in process and uh, uh, another idea that is uh, 
being uh, taking uh, that is uh, taking root that is community ownership of school uh, when our government of india when parliament passed community participation act in 2000 uh, in the year 2000 Uh, that act is now getting stronger and stronger from village education committee to uh, we are marched from school uh, management committee this committee is getting uh, stronger and stronger and uh, due to this community awareness is taking place community mobilization is, is taking place so school management committee uh, takes a major role now so uh, we hope uh by taking the social awareness community awareness our education system may improve well and with the with the uh, transition uh, from uh, traditional kind of learning to constructivist kind of learning when uh, we are emphasizing on contextual learning we are emphasizing on tribal environment and cultural heritage uh, so this would be better uh, if uh, teachers are trained in constructivist approach so uh, a, a policy initiative at uh, state level must be initiated to train teachers uh, uh, through constructivist uh, paradigm of learning and it will be very very uh, beneficial to tribal children and teachers thank you very much thank you sir uh, for uh, your uh, Uh, feedback and this will really help in future to incorporate and to deal with the constraints thank you sir thank you so much uh, dr das for your wonderful comment uh, now i would like to uh, invite uh, dr lakshmikan misra ji for a quick comment dr misra Okay, Doctor Naik. Uh, am I audible? Y yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you have done it, um, Sudeep. Uh, Sudeep, so some field work you have done, and uh, on the basis of the field work uh, experiences, uh, you have uh, prepared your report, and you have given. the problems and uh, try to provide some solutions to the problems and uh, dr bisidas uh, uh, virtually uh, get some more insight into the problems but uh, the problems uh, which you have raised in regard to uh, the hygiene uh, health the infrastructure uh, gender uh, so the uh, and also the uh, the uh, teacher teachers uh, and uh, so the these are all of five what appeared to me i found it uh, more of a general nature because these uh, problems uh, are common to the uh, schools which are operating uh, even in the uh, coastal belt uh, particularly in the uh, villages in the peripheries uh, uh, peripheries uh, peripheries in relation to the uh villages located uh, far away from the uh, national highways of course nowadays uh, uh, the um, uh, most of the villages are connected by roads but we find the problem uh, similar to the problems of the almost all the marginalized sections of the people this is not typical to the tribal people these are also uh, similar to the uh, pupils uh, belonging to the uh, slums uh, belonging to the uh, 
मार्जिनल सेक्शन सभी सुधी मार्जिनल सेक्शन सभी पीपल लिविंग इविन इविन डेवलप्ड विलेजेस इन डेवलप्ड विलेजेस वर्चुअली व्हाट यू फाइंड इन द कोस्टल एरियाज सुधी नॉर्मली दिस educated uh, parents uh, they don't prefer to send their children to the traditional schools they send their uh, children to sudhi uh, saraswati shishu mandir or some english medium schools which are available nearby and sudhi uh, uh, we find uh, the schools are being enrolled by Uh, the pupils uh, mostly from the marginalized sections of the people and uh, so the problems you raised uh, i don't think uh, these are uh, typical to the tribals and uh, so the uh, what is the sample size you have taken i don't know i am uh, a little bit skeptical about the sample size and uh, particularly about uh, the uh, teachers particularly the gender category uh, that is what you have emphasized uh, i don't know and uh, so the what the officials are doing and particularly since 2009 uh, the right to education is there and uh, so many uh, so the officials are uh, uh so the empowered to look into the proper implementation of the act language is not a barrier at all language is just a medium of uh, instruction and uh, so the i'm so the language is absolutely no problem and uh, so the but the things uh, Mm, things uh, happen to be appear to be more of general nature i don't the, the think uh, the things are different in the even if in urban metropolis you see in college square in kota uh, at least uh, uh, so the uh, to my knowledge uh, number of big uh, Uh, slums having large number of population they were displaced and uh, uh, so the and uh, so the uh, displaced from the college uh, granyat and other areas in katak and uh, so the and the uh, people uh, they were uh, uh, virtually put up i don't know uh, if at all they are uh, uh so the resettled in uh, uh, certain schools or not uh so the the same problem they are facing these are my uh, so the stray comments that's it thank you hello yes thank you thank you thank you sir thank you sir uh, in my future i will also incorporate all these things and this this the presentation is basically based on observation but i have observed while uh, working in the tribal areas and uh, dealing with the tribal parents as well as uh, tribal teachers and also on an participatory approach i have also included the tribal children uh, interacting with them i have gathered all this information this is purely an observation based uh, pr presentation and in uh, no doubt uh, this is this these are the common problems that are being faced uh, in the tribal belt and also in the rural areas and also in the slum areas uh, but uh, but among the tribal children and in the tribal belt this problem is uh, uh, this problem generally needs more attention and more focus uh, so Maybe that similar uh, attention is like also needed uh, uh uh in the uh, schools uh, where the marginalized sections of the people are uh, reading yeah yes uh, this yeah, is the sir. problem this is a general problem here and language is not a problem at all i don't think if it is a problem 
language is no problem and uh, particularly at this uh, point of time how do you look at uh, look into the problems uh, from the uh, point of view of right to education right to education 2009 how do you look into it what are your observations sir if, if right to education includes that every child should go to school then why these children are not going to school and they are dropping uh, in the middle that that means there is something that more lucrative for these children than uh, being that... if the kondo yes sir this so the problem how to बहुत प्रोब्लेम प्रोब्लेमेटिक गोटे प्रॉब्लम जे जे माने एक्ट एज एप्रोप्रिएट एडमिशन एज एप्रोप्रिएट एडमिशन व्हाई आर दी स्कूल अथॉरिटीज डिमांडिंग दी सीएलसीज फॉर एडमिशन इनटू ए पर्टिकुलर क्लास एंड व्हाई सो दी तोने गोटे पिलार जो दी बॉयस और नॉ सीधा चार क्लास एडमिशन दे दे पर दैट इज नॉट हैपनिंग एंड नो स्टेक होल्डर सर टेकिंग नोट ऑफ दैट दैट इज नॉट हैपनिंग इफ यू गो टू ए स्कूल एज एप्रोप्रिएट एडमिशन हमको दियो विल एनी स्कूल सो दी रेस्पेक्ट दैट पॉइंट He respect the government. Can you give uh, admission code or logic? Rohila, that the one is appropriate admission. Rohici, uh, right to education act. Right. What authority uh, so the uh, has been given to the school authorities to ask for uh, uh, so the SLCs or something like that? You can't demand that. You have to give. अपन गोटे दे परिबे सुदी से ट्राइबल एरिया रे हो कि सुदी अमर एठार रुरल एरिया जे हो गोटे स्कूल गोटे को स्कूल रे स्कूल अथॉरिटी एडमिशन दे दो नो क्लास नो वर्ष वयस रो पिला को चार क्लास रे डायरेक्ट एडमिशन हैव यू लुक द मैटर सुदी फ्रॉम दैट एंगल ट्राइबल एरिया जे हो कि अमर रुरल एरिया जे अमर एठार कोस्टल रुरल एरिया जे हो सेंटर रे हो कि पेरिफेरी रे हो राइट टू एजुकेशन र जो प्लस गुडी को सेट स्टेक होल्डर्स माने केते सो द रिस्पोंसिबल सो द अकाउंटेबिलिटी नो चंदी हेलो प्रोब्लेम कह किंतु सर एक्चुअली कौन हो ची ना देर इज ऑलवेज ए गैप बिटवीन फॉर्मेशन एंड एक्सेक्यूशन तो तो सेटा एक्चुअली जो जो ठी फॉर्मेशन हो ची जो मैंने तब को फॉर्मुलेट पढ़ो चंती दे शुड राइडर गिव मोर इम्पोर्टेंस ऑन हाउ शुड बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड आउ इम्प्लीमेंटेशन टा केमिटी स्मूथ हो तो जदी आमे सेटा जदी ग्राउंड रु स्टार्ट करिवा आमे जे सेटा पॉइंट 1 रु स्टार्ट करिवा जीरो लेवल रु स्टार्ट करिवा ताहाले निश्चित भाबरे आमे गोटे हाइट को जाई परिबा वेयर वी कैन माने आमे किछिटा प्रॉब्लम ए पिलांग मानन को पई क्योर करि परिबा आमे समस्त जानि जति जे जदी आमे गोटे 9 वर्ष रो पिल्ला को जदी डायरेक्ट 4 क्लास रे अटेंड एडमिशन दिया जाउ नाही बा दिया जा, जाई पारु नाही त एठी मु मु निजर गोटे व्यू देबि कि Uh, admission to any class or education should not be guided by any age. 
कहीं हे तो सी पिला नाइन इयर्स हो जाए थी पारे हे तो सी क्लास सिक्स को तार जीवार एज हो पारे कि तार कौन क्लास सिक्स रठ पढ़ क्षमता अच्छी कि ता मुंड से एलाउ कर ब्रेन रे रि कैपेसिटी अच्छी जे सी सिक्स क्लास रो स्टैंडर्ड रो सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड रो बही पढ़ी ता पाठ को से बुझीपार कहीं मुझे एवं लास्ट मोर स्लैड रे जो इंटरप्ट हो गाला मुझे गोटे ट्राइबल पिला सांगे डिल कर इन अर्डर टू नो व्हाट इज रियली हापनिंग विथ दिस ट्राइबल चिलड्रेन इवेन दो हाव स्टार्टेड विथ ए सिंगल चाइल्ड कि मुझे घर आनी बसुची निज पाखे बसुची एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू स्पेड आज मच आज टाइम आज आई क्या विथ दैट लिटिल गर्ल Starting with she when she is six years six and half years old and studying in class one. That actually sir language problem achi. Jaham ame kohu chu. Even if I am discussing in Odia, even if I am telling her in Odia ki dek eta hella eta ko minus empty kora jaye. Chotto number ru bada number ku tu jibu. But she is not able to catch it. Jeta bolle mo taku Odia padhu chhi. Jeta bolle translation karu chhi. Kadali har dirghi kar rehla kadali. कदली से तो पढ़ा है मुझे कहली बनाना बनाना को ओडिया कर से मत कहला केला कहीं ट्राइबल लैंग्वेज रे कदली कहुतीटा को केला कहती घर घर को भी केला कहती जमी कि राउरकेला राउरकेला मैंने गाँ गोटे गाँव रे घर को राउरकेला राउरकेला नाटा से तो दे आर गेटिंग कनफ्यूज विथ इन कदली केला एंड दे आर हाउस केला तो से लैंग्वेज इज सटनली ए बारियर जोटा कि मुझे निजे भी फिल कर भी फिल कर जनवाई चाहूँ कि ये वाइल टीचिंग ए ट्राइबल किड वाइल टीचिंग वाइल इंपैक्ट एजुकेशन इन ए ट्राइबल एरिया और ट्राइबल रिजन लांगुएज सटनली प्लेज ए मेजर रोल इन मेकिंग अंडरस्टाण दिज चिलड्रेन व्हाट इज बी टट इन द क्लास एंड व्हाट इज बी रिटर्न इन द बुक्स कहीं लैंग्वेज ओडिया लैंग्वेज रे बहुत डिफरेंस अच्छी जमी कि मुझे एक्जामपल देली दीर्घ रेखा जो मुझे पढ़ाऊली कदली ट्रांसलेसन बानाना दिगला सी लिखार था कदली कि लिखी पार्ला ना कहीं लांगुएज केला से कदली कौन जानती ना एम बहुत सारा बारियर्स अच्छी जहाँ को किड टू फोकस एंड वी निड टू वर्क अपन तो मानते मुझे कथ रे कि मात्र एग्री करी एंड आउ कि जिन क्षमा करी करी ना ओके Thank you, uh, thank you, ma'am, for your wonderful time and uh, wonderful discussion over your topic. Uh, it was definitely eye-opening session for all of us. I'd like to thank uh, all our uh, uh, stakeholders who support us to do all these uh, important sessions uh, to develop the higher education tradition in uh, Odisha and India. Thank you, all the associate. Uh, organizations rebels university central university of odisha and i am sambalpur for their contributions and all the patrons all our uh, conveners and all the supporters of card who give their immense support to develop this program uh, to reach a high thank you so much thank you all the meeting is concluded thank you thank you everyone